Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie in Tokyo. And yeah, this is the second video of the day. It's very rare for me to do two videos. I think I can count on one hand that I have done two videos back to back, but I was going to just tweet out a PDF that I found and I thought, no, actually this is, I think, um, important. And I know that some of you are not on Twitter. So I decided to just do a quick video. It's about the company NTT Data. NTT Data is in Japan uh, and systems integration company and they started in 1967 as a data communication business. They are now the largest IT services company headquartered in Tokyo and they rank fifth largest in the world and they've been working with Ripple for quite some time. I think you can go back to 2016, 2017 where they were doing a lot of um, collaboration and projects and proof of concepts together. Well, there is uh, something before I get into the PDF to show you. Um, I'm on the uh, nodes that are run for the ledger here. And you can see that NTT data is, let's see, we go into the recommended versions. There's BitTrue. I think it's just above BitTrue. It is right. Where are you, NTT data? There you are, right there. That is the, uh, the node that they run for Ripple, and they've been running that for a while. Okay, so let's go into this PDF because, boy, it's interesting. There are five different use cases. Uh, they are really varied in what they are testing. One of them uh, is a test here in Japan where they have taken 14 companies. It includes banks, shipping companies, freight forwarders, and they are testing an Ethereum-based um, platform for electric power, and then one which is a DLT platform, which is confidential, so we don't know who that is. There's also a test going on in Italy for supply chain using Corda. There is a US multi-party contract processor using Ethereum, and then a shipping industry with the Mediterranean Port Authority using uh, Hyperledger and Quorum. But the one I really want to highlight is the one in the UK with uh, Ripple. It's a tier one Ripple solution payment and settlement with a brand new dedicated mobile app. The bank, which is not named, it just says that it is a global bank, is a bank that has 14 million in their client base. So I think it's quite large. We can only speculate who that is. It talks about the uh, main goals that are expected, the timing, the team, the brief description, the proof of concept enablers, and the main results that have been achieved using Ripple's X current. But what is so, so surprising, I guess, for me is that you can see the uh, UK bank sitting in the middle, moving money from the US into the uh, Eurozone. Yeah, this is actually 19 different countries. And there is a seamless customer experience with Apple Pay. Hmm. So anyway, I will put this link to the PDF in the uh, description below because I think it's um, all the all the use cases are really really fascinating. And of course, I just have to throw in a little bit of fluff for you. This is the NTT Docomo Tower. It is a very famous tower in the Tokyo skyline. I'm going to be here actually tonight. I go into Yoyogi once a week in the evening and um, I am almost standing at this exact same spot. Uh, it is really beautiful when you see it in this time lapse video. This is looking at a very small portion of the entire skyline of Tokyo and you can see this is the tower here on the right. This is cool. I really like this. This is um, this is Yoyogi Koen, which is the big park. Uh, it's great to have this kind of greenery in the middle of concrete glass and and uh, yeah, city city views. Uh, this is where the um, Olympics in the 1960s took place. This is the one of the main buildings uh, venue that they built. And this is the government building here, Tokyo government building. Anyway, it's fun to see this, uh, this view. 
in this format. All right, everybody. Yeah, do take care. All right. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.